Quantum computers by Oliver Johnson. Quantum computers are computers that run on qubits rather than bits. They have the potential to become immeasurably faster than any of today's computers. Currently we have quantum annealing computers. These are already commercial products, but D-Wave, the company that sells them, sells them for a lot of money. Google bought one for $15 million. There are three types of quantum computers. Quantum annealing, the most simple. Analog, much more complex and universal. The most complex and powerful. Quantum computers use qubits. These are like normal bits but can exist in a state called a superposition, allowing for more bits of storage. The D-Wave 2X is 3 meters by 2.1 meters by 3 meters. The processing chip has over a thousand neobium loops on it, which act as qubits when cooled down below 9.2 degrees Kelvin. This system cools down to 0.015 degrees Kelvin to allow the qubits to work better. These qubits are very sensitive, so the pressure inside needs to be 10 billion times less than the Earth's atmospheric pressure. The circuit needs to be protected from any external magnetic field, so it's shielded to 50,000 times less than the Earth's magnetic field. Quantum computers would have an immense impact on society once made better, cheaper, and more available. Their power to simultaneously solve problems allows them to solve complex problems incredibly quickly. In minutes, a quantum computer could solve a problem that takes a traditional computer billions of years. D-Wave, the company that makes them, say they will use their computers to improve national defense, research, the web, finance, healthcare, and energy. They can also be used for astronomy. NASA plan to use them to search through the colossal amounts of data in the search for life. Quantum computers will be able to crack any code with ease, making the codes redundant. However, quantum cryptography may come as a replacement. They would replace supercomputers very well, being faster, smaller, and on average require one hundredth of the electricity. Given this piece of technology is still being developed, there are many ways that further research can be done to improve it. The main target of the companies making them is to get more qubits and to improve the user interface. However, there are many other aspects that would improve them. These computers are very large and research could be put into miniaturizing them. Compared to traditional supercomputers, they do not use much electricity. However, this could still be researched to try and reduce it. Most of the 25 kilowatts required is to run the cryogenic liquid helium cooler, which could have research into making it more efficient or finding a different method of cooling. This system also uses water cooling, but it uses so little that a kitchen tap could provide enough. However, this would be inconvenient if they were ever to be installed in people's homes, and research could be done to remove this. One big target of researchers in the long run is to stop using annealing quantum computers and move on to analog and ultimately universal quantum computers, but improving current annealing quantum computers comes first. The power of these computers could be abused to decode private information rather than just the suspicious coded information, thereby putting personal data at risk. Conversely, quantum computers could also make data more secure, meaning that companies without quantum computers would need to either remove all their data from the internet or restructure to allow all the data to be encrypted through quantum methods in order to safeguard privacy. Thank you for watching.